I, th- I think they should. Um, somebody with, who's smart, who does hemorrhoid cream, should ask uh, Ani if they could use his badass song as a theme for their ointment. Because if you've got a, you know, you've got badass problems, they can solve it. Juice. Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex of Corbin. I'm Rick, and you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks to everybody for the button. And welcome back to my black void. I that's hope what, it's nice and warm. That's what my mom says every night she's with Corbin. Um, <laughs> uh, and we just we just saw a movie, and uh, we that's why we're in the filming car. today. And there's always this is also where we do all of our Bollywood bootlicker cocaine deals. That's true. Yeah. Um, but this Karen is Johar's in the trunk. A new Tamil film that just. Shit. A new Tamil film that just came out uh, with Aya Rahman uh, doing the music. Uh, it's called Ayalan. And uh, read these other names. Siva Kian. Forgive me for mispronouncing that. Uh, Rakul Preet Singh R. Ravi Kumar. And I believe it's sci-fi. I do believe there's definitely an alien. Awesome. That is all I know, though. Great. Uh, <laughs> so um, I guess we'll figure out fully what this is about. Cool. Um, sci-fi trailer. I like it. Bring on more sci-fi. More sci-fi and more horror, please. Um, sci-fi horror. Those two actually things do coincide. They bit. do. A uh, really good one, if you've not seen it, which most of you probably have already, is the German series Dark from t- 2017. Yeah, That's sci-fi horror. Going, yeah. Shut up! Hey! I'm not ready hey! yet! Hey! Here we go. Karin, quiet. Whoa, jeez. <laughs> what the crap? You're not Ja, dude. Why was? It, please explain to me why the uh, the music was funny. Because I feel like it. I thought it was just he was playing music. I think it was, it was very specific. It reason. may have been an A.R. Uh, Riman song. So yeah, you kind of say we're not, the, but, we're not that savvy yet. Wow. So okay, A plus for originality. Never seen anything like that. But what in the name of all things living is going on? <laughs> uh, I'm guessing. At first, it felt like it was going to be a very serious take on climate change and a new source of energy, and maybe get some espionage and sci-fi thriller. And then it turned into what felt like old sci-fi movies from the 1980s, like Ghostbusters. And there's another one with a with one uh, with a robot. It just what is this thing? Yeah, the uh, it gave me a lot. I know you haven't seen it yet. It gave me some vibes. Maybe it's just because there's an alien of um, Koi Mi Gila. Yeah, it's um, which I was is the, gotta see it. Um, uh, the prequel to Krish. Uh, I, I haven't seen Krish yet, um, but 
it's it, very different in some aspects, but also just uh, an alien coming. You know that there's an alien. That's not, a, that's not a spoiler for you. It did give me some vibes of that, but uh, not fully. Uh, a lost alien seeks help to go back to his home, but everything gets harder after the alien returns to its home. Okay, so I'm guessing he goes back with him. Um, the alien. I like the originality. Uh, well, and it's if you can, definitely original. If you can make it like this fun, quirky, like wink wink nudge nudge at yourself of yeah. like we we know this is this is absurd right um and don't take yourself too seriously right. i think it could i think it could work yeah and that's the case cuz most of the time in recent past most things that are sci-fi are sci-fi drama they're not sci-fi comedy sci-fi farcical yeah so it looks like it's going to be a mashup of drama thriller silly comedy do you, um, do you recognize him the lead. Uh, uh yes. Say his name. Uh, Sivakarthikian. Is he in the boxing movie? No. He's not? Mavida. It's the lead. That's where he's it's from. It's the lead in That's Mavida. That's right. Um, I thought, I thought that's who it was. Um, but uh, if you haven't seen our watch along of Mavida, please go watch please that. Please do. Go watch that film, obviously. Yeah, we, please we do. We really enjoyed that film. Um, so yeah, he's the lead in it. Um, and so it has a Rahman. Um, obviously Yogi, Yogi Babu, Babu. yeah. <laughs> um, who's never been in a Molly Allen film, even though uh, my brain likes to play tricks on me, and I for some reason feel like he's a Molly Allen actor. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why my brain did that, I don't either. It's uh, very interesting, but yeah, that's the, the thing I would worry about. Same thing I think I said with the Tiger Shroft um film is since the CGI isn't up to par with like let's say hollywood or even like the the the, the jawans or the patans of mm -hmm. the world right um that that could distract you from it absolutely the story can. yeah if, it, if you're relying too much on and obviously i don't think the alien actually looked bad in terms of it, the, his cgi i thought looked good yeah but in, like, like the city or the some of the action that's what, yeah that's what would be a big concern for me for sure um i think like it, it just depends on how it's done i think True. Like, if this was a Molly Yellum film, I'd be like, oh, this is going to be so fun and unique. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it would be on this scale. Yeah. I think it would be more like the little robot. The uh, Right, uh, right. I think if they did an alien movie, it would be more small scale. Yeah, definitely alien. the jury's out on this one. It's yeah. definitely original, but boy, oh boy, it looks like it could be a hot mess. Mm -hmm. Or it may be really endearing and fun. Yeah, it's it's hard to tell right now. Yep. Because I, it's not what I was expecting. Not at all. Um, but it's I, I'm open because I, I like the fresh ideas. I like the trying of sci-fi. Yes. Um, An originality, come just, on. It's just not something that's done in Indian cinema. I, I, yeah, I'd rather see this than a remake of some film. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Well, it's remakes, an, it seems like an original remakes idea. Remakes are done. Yeah. Oh, no more ever? Oh, good. No, in Indian cinema, they're done. Great. It's uh, good. it's the sequels to nostalgic films. Now. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> they, like they've announced like so many now of like '90s films that now get a sequel because Guitar yeah. Two did yeah. these insane numbers. They're gonna do a sequel to Sholay. I hope so. Yeah, me too. Dude, do it with Darmendra and, and Amitak Bakhtan. Absolutely just as old. <laughs> yes, <laughs> just do it. Do it. I, I think that would actually be really fun. I don't know how, because I don't think that was, like, anywhere near the present day. Like, I think that was... No. Like, I don't know what year that was supposed to take in, but I don't think it was, like, the 50s. If no, it, I, it think was, it, I think was. Uh, I think that was the 70s. You think? No. Yeah, Cholet? Yeah, I think it was. No. It's weird. Anyways, let us know what you thought about it, if you are excited about it, and uh, anything else we need to know about it down below.